Today is June 3rd, 2020. I was conflicted on whether to make this video or not. I'm not really sure how to feel about this. Well, actually, I'm really clear on how I feel about this. I'm not really sure on how the world is gonna feel about this. Uh, I didn't wanna speak out about this for a long time, but then I realized like, yo, I have a platform of some sort. I should speak about this. I should bring awareness to this, even if it's for the small crowd that's around me, even if it's for the small people that haven't heard about the situation around the world. So I've talked to a bunch of my friends. I've had the past three, four days, I've had late night talks with them, like three, four o'clock in the morning type shit, where we sit there and just discuss these types of things and how we feel about them pretty much and i just wanted to say that like me and my friends um all the people that you've seen on my channel we're all with the people of the protest we're all with the people with the safe protesters not the rioters not the instigators not the people that try to instigate the riots not the bad cops but there's also good cops we can't forget about that and not all lives matter until black lives matter that's the reality that we're living in the harsh truth George Floyd's death wasn't just another death in the United States. The American people said enough is enough and they're starting to protest, they're starting to speak up. This man's death has become something more than it is. And hey guys, I was re-watching this and I got a second opinion on it and I just wanted to clarify. What I meant to say is that George Floyd's death was the starting point of a revolution. This is bigger than all of us. This is history being changed right now. Revolution for our rights and for the immigrants and the people of different nationalities. They're all here because our brothers and sisters fought for us. We must stand with them. Anyways, let's get back to the video. And it's causing for other death and frankly, I don't want that to happen. I just want the peaceful protesters to get their message across like they're supposed to and the rioters to stop rioting. When I say rioters, I don't just mean the people, the the people that are doing graffiti, the people that are pushing up the cops and stuff like that. No, I mean the cops that are pushing up the people because there's been instances all over the world as well. You guys, there's good cops and bad cops. There's cops that can handle a situation like a peaceful protest and take care of it the right way. And there was cops that did that and there was scenarios all over you can look for. And hopefully I can grab some and put them in this video for you guys to get a better view of what I'm talking about. But there's also cops that pushed and started beating people with their batons just because they had the power to. It is not how that works. That is not how that works. Those are people people and no matter what they are no matter what skin tone they are no matter what color what creed what sexual orientation they are man you should love them because at the end of the day once you bleed you bleed the same red blood and if you die you get you get buried six feet down under the ground just like everybody else to think one skin tone or another is different than yours and so that person must be different that person must be evil or unpure to what some of these white people think. It's it's honestly a shame. It's honestly a shame. Now, I'm not saying there isn't any good white people or bad white people, but our system is corrupt. That's not my issue. Our system is corrupt and we need to fix it. And we need to be together. We need to bring each other together to fix this. Because if the system is not gonna take care of us, if the system is not gonna protect us, then we protect each other. We serve each other. And that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm bringing, like, this is this is why I'm doing this video because I didn't think it was gonna mean a lot to me, but at the same time, doing this right now, it means the world, man, because I didn't get to speak about this on any other platforms. Like, yeah, I've hinted at some of the things that are going on wrong in the world, but at the same time, this is me finally speaking out about it. Yeah, just peace, love, and positivity. And to all my peaceful protesters, we're with you. I don't think people should be killed over this. And I think our president should pay more attention to it too. Later.